And, well, actually, Bradley Central is going to call a timeout. So we'll get Coach Will Kreisky, the head coach for the Riverdale Warriors, on the phone. His team went up to Knox County, to West Knoxville, uh, to take on Hardin Valley. And their season comes to a close tonight. A tough, hard-fought battle. Rally come up short in the fourth quarter. Coach Kreisky, I know you got to be proud of your kids getting this far in your first season. Yeah, I'm, I'm real proud of the kids. They played hard. They played hard for four quarters. Uh, we had a slow start. Didn't come out of the gate fast, but, uh, you know, got down 14-0. Uh, but the kids come back and fought. They fought hard. They, uh, Harden Valley was able to squeak in a field goal early or late in the third quarter uh, to, to get that 17. Uh, we were able to block one early on and, and, and move the ball a little bit. But the, like you said, the kids played hard. These, these group of seniors, I, I'm really proud of them. You know, we changed a little thing that we did. And, and these seniors bought in, and they didn't resist, and, and, and they fought. They fought hard, and, and they really led this group of uh, underclassmen in a good way. And it'll start. It started off good things for us for the future. You, when you come in in a new in a new uh, uh, regime, I don't call it regime, but you know, Coach Adelot had been there for a while. He had established himself, uh, and. Uh, you know, you've been the the third coach at Riverdale since the dark ages, perhaps. Uh, you know, there, you've got to have that buy-in from the young guys, and or I mean, from the from the leaders on your team to help get those young guys uh, shaped up. And uh, talk about some of those guys that really bought in early on and were those kind of uh, uh, assistant coaches at the you know at the non graduate level. Well, you know, uh, I can't stress enough how valuable uh, Gentry Bond, Markwell Odom, and Preston Bards were. You know, they were guys I coached in the secondary and I've been with for the last three years. And, you know, they, you know, were really excited when I got the job. And, and they started off with team meetings and, you know, being on time and, and lifting and staying after and coaching the other guys. And that made the other guys rally, rally around them, you know, so the Isaiah Stewart, the Carlos Reynolds, the other seniors bought in, and it trickled down to the juniors, you know. And if you look at all our scores, we played hard for four quarters every game. But, you know, there's only two losses that didn't come down to the final possession, and that was Oakland and Cooper. And besides those two games, you know, every all the other losses came down to a final possession. And, you know, that's all we, that's all we asked our kids is give us an opportunity to, to win the ball game in the fourth quarter. And they did that. These kids believed, and they never quit. There wasn't one game. I could say they quit. You know, they fought. And that's what I told them tonight. You know, they're, they're going to have bright futures ahead of them, these seniors are, because they're guys that are determined and are committed, and they, they play with a lot of heart, and, and they're, they're going to be successful because they won't quit. When things, you know, go don't go the right way, they don't quit. They don't look the other way. They they attack it head on, and they do a good job with it. And I'm proud of those guys. And they, they laid the foundation for it. We're talking to Will Kreisky, the brand-new head coach at Riverdale. Of course, he'd been on staff at Riverdale, so he wasn't uh, new to the building. He knew the, knew the kids, but, you know, anytime there's a change in leadership, it's it's got to be uh, a big thing. Uh, your brother got a big win tonight, and and uh, does that mean that uh, you, you might uh, find some Centennial Blue in your uh, wardrobe uh, in the next few days? Oh, yeah. I'll be, uh, <laughs> I'll be rooting on them. I'll be- Centennial Cougars, you know, they beat uh, Henry County again tonight. You know, that's where we're from, our hometown. Um, but he's doing a great job over at Centennial. I think they won 21 to nothing, and they'll even either play uh, Memphis Central or Brentwood, which will be a tough game. So uh, It'll be Brentwood. You know, Brentwood just, just won in overtime. Okay, so they'll be playing Brentwood. So that'll be a game over in uh, Williamson County. So, yes, we'll be – well, I'll be all in blue. And, you know, now that my season's done, I'm 100%. I'll probably be over there uh, – Monday at practice, so uh, <laughs> it's just the way it is, you yep. know, and that's the way it is. That's the way it is in our family. So, yeah, I'll be a hundred percent behind him now. But I'm still trying to work on a game with him next fall. So that would be a, no, that, that'd be awesome. I guess I'll let him finish his season before we finally, you know, get it all down and right. <laughs> yeah, before you start piling on to him, I'll uh, give you an update here. Uh, uh, Blackman got the field goal at the end of uh, regulation. They defeat Bradley Central, so they move on. Uh, Dennis Weaver, Eric Keith talking to Will Kreisky, the head football coach at uh, Riverdale uh, on the Friday Night Thunder Scoreboard Show. Uh, you, I, Eric, I've got Eric busy. busy. Eric's know, trying to I'm, run I'm, down I'm, scores right there. Sorry. No, yeah. that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I know that you guys, I guess you guys are heading back tonight. Knoxville's not that far, not that far of a drive. Uh, 
Uh, did you do anything special? Did you go over early and try to do anything, anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we left school around 11 o'clock. We stopped in Crossville, did a little walk through, uh, walked around for a little bit. Then we just stopped over by the uh, Longhorn, had a pregame meal. Uh, but it was it was a long trip. We didn't do anything too special, but we we ate at Longhorn, and, and the kids did, you know, traveling this long distance. It, it, you know, we usually travel 15 minutes down the road yeah. besides when we come to Manchester or Warren County. And, uh, you know, it was a long trip for the kids, but the kids, are, you know, are well-behaved, and they did a great job. And, it, it, you know, it was a great trip. You know, it would just it would been better to finish off uh, with a win. Well, Coach, you're very kind to spend time with us on the way back, and and uh, I appreciate that as always. Uh, good luck in your off season. I need to I need to get up there and see you guys. Uh, maybe I'll come up for spring practice. Yeah, come on up. You know, it's, I appreciate you having me on uh, so often uh, in your shows, and it's it's good to get back connected with you, Coach Wade. We miss, like I told you before, we miss you around the Warriors. <laughs> uh, uh, you're you're one of the, you, so you're the one. I heard somebody missed me. I thought I just owed up for a library book or a parking <laughs> ticket or something. I didn't. I didn't know. I really need to get up there before the end of the year to see Mr. Nolan. So, uh, he, yes, is he is. staying till the end of the year or just the end of the end of the semester? No, nah, he'll be here till the end of the year. All right. Well, uh, next time you see him, tell him I said hello and and. Uh, uh, and and uh, tell you guys on staff uh, uh, congratulations and on a great season. Okay, appreciate it, Coach Waver. Have a All good right. one. All right, that is Will Kreisky, the head uh, the head ball coach. That's right. He he, he coaches up that tackle football up there at the Riverdale High School. <laughs>